I thought I'd film in for the tune in for the last little boom, it's gone. So for instance, that's tight there, actually. <laughs> hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go, and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well, and some of it is absolute sheer craziness, but somehow I've still managed to pull it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Hey guys, usual crazy mini jobs. I've got a quick hour in between finishing work and speaking to a potential new employer. Um, yeah, I thought I'd use that time wisely. So I didn't film it, you see me do fiberglassing, but underneath the underside of the through hole repair the little bit of the lamination was picked up on the survey ground out glassed up and the anode the big anode i put on last year the surveyor said i just didn't need it um so i've removed it glassed the holes up on the outside on the inside here still needs doing that's just taped up for now and i'll do that uh before cleaning but not a, an immediate job for that. So, another thing that's picked up, obviously all my through holes are true design, minus the galley outlet. It is some plastic nylon type of fair, white plastic. So the old ones there, I've just started banging it through. I thought I'd film in for the, tune in for the last little, boom gone so i'm gonna quickly clean this up i'm not gonna get a grind or nothing in there just a bit of sandpaper grind that flat and uh make sure the true design is the right size the one that i've got look how thick that hull is it's amazing that's three quarters of an inch if not more wow anyway yeah so i'm gonna give that a quick clean up inside and out the sandpaper and i'll tune back in for the uh through hole fitting <laughs> Hey guys, this is my third tube of sea killers on the boat that I've now resorted to white because all the black's gone off. And I think this has gone down the same path. I used this one the other week. Give me two seconds, clean this up. Um, I am determined to get this one working. Okay, that was emotional. But I've managed to save this one. I've got a, a tip here. Oh, I don't know, I'll set it, I'll use it. It's an old tip that all the black stuff literally pulled out of it as I took it off. It is. <laughs> I need to go through my tubes. Maybe, I know Seek goes off, but maybe on a boat it goes off even quicker. I don't know. But I'm just going to give a nice, healthy splooge around here. Just a little bit on the threads here. It's all going to squash out. Lovely old job. I mean, realistically, that is far too much. But I'm just going to seal it. I'm just going to seal it. It's going to. Oh, I'll take you outside. You can see me, see me pushing it, forcing it in. Okay, so I just went outside with the GoPro in my hand and pushed it in. <laughs> Without tuning in showing you. Sorry about that. So I'm now just going to put the, uh, the little gasket thingy on there. I don't bother messing around with sealing it on the inside. It's that heavily sealed on the outside. If it gets through that, we've got trouble. And with 291, that is it. I'm not going to nip it up anymore. I will do uh, tonight slash tomorrow. Just get grips on it, get rid of it. But I let the seeker sort of gel off, go firm, and then you pull it in that last little sort of split millimetre. 
and then from there I'll cover the uh, the other bits of putting the Loctite and putting all the bits and pieces on. Actually, this will get nipped up tonight because otherwise I've got no water. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my water's turned off because I don't want to forget and turn a tap on or someone else turns tap on and floods the boat. So this will get done later on tonight. Bear with me. Hey guys, so to go and get this from my lockup, uh, SI5331, it's a thread sealant, perfect for the uh, true design stuff. It's been in the lockup for about a year, so hopefully it's not turned to mush. Oops, it looks very sealanty. So, what I'm going to do, a nice, generous globule on there. I've got an applicator, but that'd be far too easy, wouldn't it? Why use a uh, supplied applicator when you just do it with your finger? Oop. So I'm not doing a very good job at holding the uh, camera here. Okay. And then the beauty of this stuff is you haven't got to wind it right in so it's in the wrong position. You can pretty much put it in a position you want and then just leave it to uh set. So for instance, that's tight there. Actually, that's worked out quite well because I wanted it in that orientation. So I can reach in and turn it off. Like see. So now I can turn that off, stop cold air coming in. It's the bottom time of year to have cold air pouring into the boat. And uh, now I'll put a bit on here. Do, 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 do. I'm hoping the lighting's alright. I've just got my crazy little light on rather than my big new LED work light thingy. Okay, plenty on. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And that's on there really thick, so as I screw it on that'll just spread down all the threads. It'll get oozed out as it as it goes down. And we'll work a treat. Oh. See, this one wants to stop in that orientation. I see that's no good for me. So I'm going to have it there where I want it. Wipe up this excessive goop. Ah, I'm gooping everywhere. Oh no! I'm just gonna have a little. Um... Oh god! I'm gonna get a bit of blue roll. Have a clean up because I'm getting myself in a bit of a state. In an hour's time, I need to be washed, changed at Sam's, ready to go out for dinner. So I'll have a quick clean up, and then later on tonight when I come back, I'll. Uh... We shall resume. Speech in a bit. Okay, it's like half ten at night now. Just got back. Absolutely exhausted. But pipe is in. I just drilled another hole, so I've now got a big spare hole there for something else. <laughs> Double hose clipped as per the survey. With true design seacock all good. I just drilled another hole there to line up with the waste. Um I need to hoover, clean everything, put maybe even repaint in these lockers, but for now, she should be good. Hey right, guys, I probably had a sound fail there due to due to flat batteries, but I'm just testing the, uh, the pipe work. So if I didn't get it on the last video because the batteries screwed me over, um, that one's got a single clip on and I'd make a fresh hole for another fresh hole to come through onto here double clipped below the water line so the seacock is shut 
the reason it's shut I'm just making sure that everything is watertight and it is so I shall now let it rip and away she goes another job done on the uh, on the survey list <sighs> on to the next one not now it's bedtime peace a bit guys cheers good evening guys it's been a while and i'm not gonna lie i dropped it twice fighting but it's in the fridge is in i um the nuts off the locker i cut them off i've capped them I'll show you them a better day in the daylight, but all the sort of sharp bolts, nuts that are left on the bottom of the lockers. We've all got these like, plastic caps on, these little badges. Awesome bits of kit for stop banging your head and ripping your clothes every time you go in there. Uh, this is all clipped up now. So diesel heater wise, I think we're good. I clipped up the diesel pipe inside the locker. So that's all supported. Um, yeah, feels great to not have the fridge there and have it back where it belongs. So it was a struggle, it was a real struggle, but it's in there. Uh, well, I fixed the, cake, the table there and then four holes. I'll just, I'll dab them a bit of white paint when I do the repairs on the bottom of this vent where I, yeah, when I was drilling out, I made a bit of a mess. But that's no dramas. There's plenty more painting going on. I'll touch them up as I go. <sighs> I've got to sort this out now. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring my tools in because uh, they're lithium batteries. I'll bring my tools in at night so they're not sat in a, in a freezing cold van like minus four and killing the batteries. Uh, but I need to tidy all the tools up. Uh, get a bit tidy up. Get some dinner on. And yeah. Onwards and upwards. Happy days. Cheers guys. I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, we're slowly catching up. This was middle of January, I think, by the time I'd finished all this lot. Um, and I've had some sort of quite slack periods, but I've still got loads of footage to get through to get us up to now. So when this gets released, um, it'll be just under three weeks to craning. So <laughs> I want to try and do my best to get enough videos out to be sort of up to date when Fox Lady gets craned in. There might be a bit of a push. Might be another week or two out. But I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, my my time for editing is quite limited. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, big thank you to our patron, Blue Dog Oz. And if anyone out there sells Victron stuff, wants to uh, <laughs> throw me some stuff to advertise it, I'm in. I'm in the market. I'm in. The, I'm shopping around at the minute. I'm trying to get a lot of blue stuff for Foxy Lady. Um, yeah, and it's effing expensive. <laughs> All right, cheers, guys. Have a good one. Speak to it.